How to sew a drawstring pouch. Hello, my name is Maggie and welcome back to another Around the Year video. Today I'll show you a beginner-friendly way to sew some drawstring pouches. And this is also a great project if you want to use up some of your fabric scraps or quilting cottons as you will only need a very little amount of fabric, depending on the size of your pouch, and some ribbon. If you're wondering what size to make, I have the dimensions on my website. I'll put the link in the description box as well as in the top right corner. For this very small bag, I'm using a 10 by 25 cm rectangle, and I will start by folding a seam of 0.5 cm or a quarter of an inch on each short side and pinning it in place. Now fold the rectangle in half, right sides facing, and we'll take this to the sewing machine. Or if you prefer, you can of course sew the seams by hand. I'm going to sew up both seams, first with a zigzag stitch to neaten the edges and keep them from fraying, then with a straight stitch for added stability. If you have one, you can also use an overlocker or neaten the edge with pinking shears. I'm starting and ending the seams with a back stitch. Next, we'll fold over a 1 cm or half an inch fold for the drawstring casing. I'll sew that down close to the edge and sewing as straight and neat as possible as the stitching will be visible from the outside of the bag. The smaller the bag, the more fiddly this part is going to be. Then we can turn the pouch inside out and poke out the corners neatly. Using a seam ripper, we're going to open the stitches of the outer layer of the casing, like so. Then, using a safety pin, we can insert a ribbon or string into the casing. Knot the ends together and let the knot slip into hiding inside the casing. Then repeat this process through the other opening. It's a great idea to save the little ribbon loops of clothing pieces to use for smaller bags like this and you will also automatically have a pair of them. These bags are so versatile that you can use them to keep earphones, memory devices, accessories as gift bags or sunglasses cases, to name a few possibilities. And here are the finished bags. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new and I will see you in my next video.